good boy. Stephanie Tuka Ingua. Hi to my welcome to Adaptive Go. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm here today with Ramon, my one-year-old puppy. He's well, I guess he's not really a puppy anymore. He's just had his first birthday about a week ago. And we're up here at Oakuni. And today this session is all about tricks that you can do to stop your dog from pulling when you're walking them on the lead. So one trick that I use is a front harness here so there is one on the back and of course he's got his collar but by putting um, the lead on the front it gives me a lot more control um, to help stop him pulling now, the reason why I work so hard on stopping Ramon from pulling is because um, of the disease that I have it really affects my hands and all the tendons um, and also I have some nerve damage from my neck that um, makes my hands weak um, and my whole biceps feel not very strong. So sometimes just even holding the lead can be uh, quite painful and I, um, when, I, when I feel like that I tuck the lead into uh, my, my pockets so that my arms get a break. But what all this means is it's really important to me, sit Ramon, sit, sit, stay, it's really important to me that Ramon not pull on the lead. The other reason why um, I'm working on him not pulling on the lead is because we're training him to become a disability assist dog. And in the foundation training, the, one of the requirements is that he walk really well on the lead, that he not pull, that he doesn't get distracted in traffic, and that he can also work really closely um, in a close position or a heel position on the lead. So the main... Um, training tools that I use when I'm out walking, the commands are touch, leave it close, let's go, and all yours. I use all yours um, when I want him to just have complete free time on the lead sniffing and those sorts of things. The best way to build the training when you're out walking is to actually practice without a lead in the yard so that you can, um, so that you can get him to, um, to do all those commands close to you so that's what I'm going to show you now is the training time in the yard you can do this only you know like five minutes a day yeah so I'll show you those commands and then we'll take him for a walk and show you how we use them to stop him from pulling on the lead close good boy here close close sit good boy nice nice close this way close this way Close. Close. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Close. Come on. Close. So as you can see, he's just one and this is my first dog and so we've still got a lot of work to do to get this um, uh, walking um, in the free walking or whatever it's called in the backyard and we've got a lot of work to do to get it really tight and to make it look like we're a team. Walking with Ramon, um, his, natural, his natural walk is to walk in front of me and to walk quite fast, he jig jogs and he'll pull on the lead and go his way so um, that's all fine but I need him to be not pulling on the lead and paying attention to me so I guess the point of getting him to stop pulling on the lead, how I'm training him to do it, is to actually just pay attention to me. So what we do when we're first starting out, he pulls quite a lot and he's out in the front. So that's when I do a lot of the um, things that I've just been showing you to, um, to get him to pay attention to me and then hopefully he'll learn the discipline of paying attention to me through the whole walk. So let's go and I'll show you what happens. Come on, let's go. So you can see him naturally pulling out in front and he could go quite a long way so I do the close to bring him back, Ramon close and sit, yep, good boy. So I just keep doing this until he's paying attention to me and walking on a lovely um, lead. Ramon. Close. 
Good boy. Nice job. Sit. Good boy. I use a lot of sit. Trying to get that automatic sit. We just, but we're just both learning. Let Nana sit. Sit. And the trick as well is to make sure that you use the command let's go when you want to sit off so that he's learning that a sit is just a sit and wait. Okay, let's go. Alone. Good boy, yes. Good boy. So you reward the um, when he looks at you, which helps with that whole paying attention to you. Good boy. Let's go. So he's focused on something, and I have a choice here around using touch or leave it. So today I'm going to use touch. Good boy, sit. Good boy, nice job. And it's just um, trying to bring his attention back to me and remembering that he's got to pay attention to me while we're walking. Let's go. Sit. Good boy. Ramon. Good boy. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Sit. So we've got... Um, a lovely um, sit, Ramon. Ramon, leave it. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Nice. So we've got him um, paying attention on the lead now. The other type of lead work that I need to do with Ramon is having him walk close next to me. And I use this quite a good boy. Sit. Good boy. And I use this quite a lot when we're walking. Um, as well so we'll do some of that so that you can see what that looks like. Ramon, close. So you can see he's nice and tucked in. Um, Ramon, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Ramon, close. Leave it. Sit. Yes. Leave it. Ramon. Touch. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Close. Ramon. Close. So he's fixated. So we want him to pay attention to me, not whatever it is that he's looking at over there. No. Sit. Good boy. Touch. Good boy. Sit. This way. This way. This way. This way. Sit. Good boy. This way. Good boy. This way. Good boy. Good boy. Close. Ramon. Ramon. Close. Close. Here. Close. Yes. Good boy. Nice. Sit. Good boy, good work. So we got his attention back with a little bit of um, focused um, commands. And then we get him walking again. Ramon, leave it. Here, close. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, nice. Nice job. So that's uh, that's a little bit of training on what we do on how to keep his attention on me when we're walking and to get him to stop pulling. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.